Super Blair here. As you can see from the title of this video, I am on my way to Drumroll, Mexico. I know, I know, I know. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like an impromptu vacation for me because initially I didn't want to go. But I changed my mind because why not? A girl is allowed to change her mind. And so we're going to Mexico for about three or four days. I'm very excited. I have never been to Mexico before. It has always been my dream to go and the day is finally here. So it's currently about five o'clock in the morning. My flight is at seven. So I am heading towards the airport and then I will show you guys everything that, you know, happens in Mexico. I can't wait to drink all the mimosas and all the margaritas and speak some Espanol. Hola! You know, the little Spanish I've learned so far is going to be put to use. So if you're interested, please keep watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Yes, I am in Houston right now. My other flight is not until 10. It is 8 a.m. right now. Strawberry on my lips, I chew a fingertip. I don't know how the hotel is and I don't want to spend too much money on alcohol so I'm just buying it at the airport that way I don't I'll drink before going out you know that's a trick but yeah immigration was super fast everything was pretty easy um, yeah I didn't have to go through any trouble they just took all my documents and that was it let's see what Kyle has for us there was this lady who was sitting by me and all she kept doing was asking me where I was going to be staying at and I've read way too many stories to be telling you where I'm staying at um, I've watched Wanted so yep I am not telling anybody where I'll be staying at but let's see what kind of happens my margarita at the airport isn't it amazing let the vacation begin oh, so good so good i'm excited guys there's a whole party right there i don't think you guys can see them but yeah Hotel, guys. It is 
amazing and I love it. Hey guys, I am finally in my room and let me tell you, the view is crazy. You need it crazy. It is so beautiful. It is just as I, you know, saw it online. I'm excited for booking. Well, I didn't book it anyway, so I think whoever did um, made a good choice. But yeah, let me show you guys the room, okay? It is so nice. Um, it actually exceeded my expectations. So let me do a little room tour, you know, you know. All right, so um, obviously I'm coming out. <laughs> and then we just have the room is the bathroom oh sorry the bathroom is here and there is a shower right here so um it's pretty nice i think there's a closet oh, okay, right here so they have all the bathroom stuff um there's a safe right here there are towels See, just everything, you know, shoes. Uh -oh. You break your back, you break your back. <laughs> all right, guys, so this is me in my all black. It's so humid. Um, I mean, it's Mexico. What do you expect? Um, but yeah, this is the sink. And they have a giant mirror right here. Yeah. Uh, just in case you didn't see my outfit. I love black these days. I think it's my go-to and it makes me look slimmer, that's why, okay? All right, so if you come in, of course, I got the king-size bed. They have all their complimentary you know, stuff here, water, alcohol, coffee, but I think they're charging for the alcohol, so I'm not gonna be drinking it. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna pay $100 for this, okay? I would, you know, buy it somewhere else. Uh, they have a giant TV here, and my favorite part is outside, okay? They have a hot tap right here. They told us um, it takes about 25 minutes to you know fill it up so i'm gonna try that today and i'm sure this is salt okay yeah so this is salt for you know the bath we have mini beds here and then this is the view you guys it's amazing oh my god this is breathtaking it's a really nice hotel um, what is it called again? Uh, like I said, I didn't book it, so I'm not really sure. But it is called... Let's see. Okay, they have a price list here. Vice Roy. So if you're coming to Mexico and you like, you know, what you're seeing, you can try them out. They are a little bit pricey, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, uh, the view and everything is perfect. We had bought some <laughs> margarita because Mexico margarita, it rhymes, and of course, who doesn't? So yeah, this is our little room. I know I look crazy right now, but I'm gonna freshen up, you know. Um, I'm gonna freshen up a little bit, maybe jump into the pool and then have dinner and see what's going on. We have some activities that we're thinking of, you know, getting done. Very interested in either the horse riding, the bike riding, I think, and then the cruise. So we might choose one or two of those activities to get done. But other than that, um, I'm here to relax anyways. Um, it's been a long year. God has been good. As always, I'm grateful for my life, for the life of my family, and I'm just here to soak in the sun 
uh, rejuvenate, go back home healthier and you know, prepared for work and for the family. So I'm about to go out just to check out the place and look around, but I changed into this and I changed my wig. On my way to go and get some slippers because I left my home and I cannot be wearing slippers, uh, sandals all around. This place is beautiful. It's breathtaking. Okay, it's amazing, and I like it. Say what? Hi. I want some flip flops. some dinner go rest for the day and then we'll see what happens tomorrow yeah i have a long island and it is so good guys mm. it's very strong that's one thing i've realized about mexico your drinks are very strong Alrighty, guys um i really want to go to the what do you call it? The Needle restaurant. Um, I'll show you guys later, but it's this really nice restaurant. Um, but it opens at six and it's four o'clock right now. So I'm hungry, I cannot wait till then, but I might pass by and get some sushi later in the evening because they close at 10. Hopefully the place is not fully booked by then, but yeah. This is the place I want to have dinner. It's a Japanese Korean um, place, and from the reviews, it's a really nice restaurant. And the evening is spectacular, so I can't wait. Yeah. Chef, what is here? Quesadillas with beef, 
Avocado. And this sauce is the temada, like a grilled sauce. Mm -hmm. Where's my fries? That's it, right, right there. Right here. Okay. Sorry, sorry. You are so hungry. And then, Ooh. right here. Okay, that looks cheese good. Cheese crust tacos, mm -hmm. beef, and some sauce on the side as well, not as spicy. Okay. Thank Parmesan you. and truffle fries nice. right here. Ketchup right here. And he oh, guys, my food is here and it looks so good. And the tacos, and I can't wait because I'm starving. I got fries here too. Guys, the food was so good and it wasn't enough, so guess what? We got more, 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 more. I know. And the food is so expensive. Two tacos for $30? I know, I know. I'm not being cheap, but two tacos for $30? That's pretty expensive. But you know, I'm on vacation, so whatever. I'm just gonna dive in and go take a nap because that Long Island is doing wonders. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, as you can see. It's my first full day in Cabo, Mexico, and I'm ready for the day. It's nine o'clock. I'm about to head downstairs to get some breakfast and then see what the day has in store for me, and I will definitely bring you guys along, okay? Bye. All I'm saying. ready to head out this is my outfit for the day um, it's just this long flowy um, you know pants with this thing that you can style anyway and I think I like it better this way so yeah this is Someone write down the names for me. You have to buy like socks. Oh my god, this is so cute. Getting some street tacos. We are buying some tacos, street tacos, and of course, I got a guy. I am ready to go get ride the ATV. I am so excited, but this is my outfit. I bought this when I went to the store and the shorts didn't fit, so I ended up with this one. Hi 
guys. <laughs> Timeshare tour. I like the place actually. They sold me, but guess what? guys i just got into my hotel room i am so tired my makeup is a mess but um yeah i went for the tour it was so good uh it's actually the highlight of my vacation i had lots of fun the atv and the utv are both spectacular i am about to head downstairs to find something to eat but i actually bought there's wine at the center and it was really good. Look at it. Mexican cocktail. It's so good. So I came to the rooftop, but they are not open. It's currently four and they open at six. So I'm just gonna wait. I'll go find something else to eat, but they are preparing here today. So this is the view from the rooftop and that woven whatever is where I had dinner last night. But oh my god, this place is breathtaking. I love it. We were releasing some turtles into the ocean, but I released mine and I think it's been washed away by the waves. And so I'm just sitting here enjoying my evening. Now there's this music called Toes in the Water and Ass and whatever by Zach. And I think I should make a video with that song. I got my toes in the water, toes in the sand. Not a worry in the world, a cold beer in my life is good today. Life is good today. That is my hotel, the white one. Viceroy. There are a bunch of other hotels right there. Some people are getting married on that side. You can see that it's fun. I love it. I'm enjoying my time. Today is actually the last uh, full day here in Cabo. I leave tomorrow at 4 p.m. So I don't want to do anything 
tomorrow I just want to stay in bed probably just go to the pool for about an hour or two and then go back to the hotel room pack and leave but yeah that's it now tell me why I'm trying to check in but it's not allowing me because my passport is less than six months it has less than six months to expire and so it's not allowing me i'm freaking out low-key but i googled it and it said that it wasn't gonna be a problem especially if you live in united states so i'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed i'll make sure i get to the airport very early maybe around 12 because my flight is at 4 p.m get everything situated because I don't want to be stranded in Mexico. I honestly don't know what I would do if they don't allow me back in America. I would have to go to Ghana and then get a new passport before going to America and that is not ideal because I have to you know go to work on Monday. Um, when I first tried to put it in, like when I first tried to uh, check in and it didn't work it said the expiration date i freaked out oh my god i went into panic mode um so i just i calmed down a little bit uh took a shot and then googled it and a lot of cora and everything on google is saying i will be allowed to enter the united states as long as the passport has not expired so Fingers crossed, I will keep you guys updated, of course, uh, if I do end up in America or in Ghana. But yeah. Just walking by the beach. Beautiful, beautiful. And I had to take this out because it's very hard to walk in the sun, guys. Very hard. Oh, some people are having another ceremony. It's another pool, and they just brought me a drink. So, I love this board. All right, guys, so I'm ready to leave. Bye, Mexico. Uh, this place has been really nice, but it's ready to go home. I am so ready. But this is my outfit. I have my sweater in my bag just in case it gets really cold in the plane. And no makeup because it's pretty humid and hot here. I'm gonna miss this water. Bye. Back to Dallas. I'm 
checked in. I went through TSA, so everything is good. But I'm starving, so I came to this really cute place at the airport to eat. I'm hungry. I'm waiting for them to sit me. Yeah. Uh, I just want a burger so that I can go. The flight is not until three hours, so I have a lot of time here. Yeah, everything is all Gucci. Oh, update. So I didn't stay in Mexico. The guy said it was okay if you had like a permanent residence, you will be able to, you know, go without your passport being less than six months. So if your passport is deemed to be expired in the next six months, uh, you can still go enter the USA if you have a permanent residence. Uh, but if you're a visitor, that's gonna be a problem. That was good news. Um, I didn't get stranded. All that nervousness was for nothing. But yeah, I will update you guys later. Bye. Oh, I got a martini. It is so good, guys. And I'm waiting for my food. I'm waiting for a burger. Because uh, I'm starving. from Mexico so excited to be back home um, it was a really good flight if you did stick around to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye and peace out